Good day, everybody. I hope every have, everybody's having a wonderful day. Now, the reason I'm making this video is um, I actually had somebody come in, and this is a question um, that I get asked all the time. So, um, what it is is, um, should I get an equity loan? Now, I'm making this video because the answer may surprise you, but the story is we had a couple come in. They bought themselves a 7,000 pound camper. They currently have a 5.7 Hemi and they were saying, well, when we tow our camper, the Hemi uses more fuel, a lot more fuel. And I was like, yeah, that'll probably happen. So they're like, oh, can we, can we look at an eco diesel? And I said, well, let's, let's talk about this. So in the end, what we found out is they do mostly in town driving. They very rarely go on the highway. And uh, I was like, that couple times that you're towing your trailer, Yes, an eco diesel would be better, but for the most part, you guys are probably better off having a Hemi because you're gonna have a lot less problems. The reason for that is the emission systems in the eco diesel. Um, they actually require you to drive on the highway for about 10 minutes at highway speed um, whenever the emissions filter gets plugged. So that's, it can actually regenerate itself um, and they didn't know that and it turns out, well, that that would be an issue for them because they'd have to go out of their way to drive it. Not to mention that eco diesels are, they take more oil and they also have that death fluid that you have to worry about. Plus they take a little bit longer to warm up in the winter time. So just wanted to talk more about that, kind of go through some pros and cons. Pros of the eco diesel, they are a um, stronger engine, um, stronger in the way that they're built. Um, not that the Hemi is not a strong engine, it's just um, diesels have what is called um, compression ignition, meaning they have a large, longer stroke, um, they're a little bit more, or they're more thermo efficient and you often get more torque out of them. What that means is the bottom ends of a diesel have to be built bigger and stronger just to handle all that extra power. Downside is um, because of that uh, longer stroke, um, they, they actually rev lower. So, you're gonna get more torque out of a diesel. That's how much power is applied to the crankshaft for every one turn, but a gasoline motor is obviously probably gonna have more horsepower because you have more power strokes per second. So it's kind of a trade-off, but basically a diesel, super, super good for towing, long driving. Those things like to be run. Semis used to, before the emission systems, didn't used to stop running until the oil changes. Guys would just leave them running all night. Um, my dad would buy a tractor from an auction like hours and hours away He'd come back and he'd leave the thing running the whole time like he would never shut them off He would keep them running. I always I actually remember some of his old farm equipment He actually just left running all night um, Diesel's just like running they like pulling it's almost like if you don't work them then they um, break a little bit more but um, but yeah super good engines are all they're a little bit more thermo efficient too what that means is they get more power out of the fuel and not as much heat now that's great when you're on the highway a lot that's great when you're doing lots of travel when you're towing if you're just in town you start up the vehicle go to work you shut it off you start it up you go back home you shut it off you start it up you go to the grocery store you shut it off you start it up then you go back home and you're only making like two to ten minute drives in town you actually might end up with more problems because you're not giving that diesel enough time to run and you're not letting it regen its emission systems so that's kind of advantages and benefits to a diesel whereas if that's what you're doing with a gas motor that's fine gas motors also are a lot less maintenance they take less oil when you do the maintenance so the maintenance is a little cheaper um you do have higher horsepower so they um if they're geared just right they're a lot quicker than a diesel and they're a lot less money so i hope this video helps you guys kind of pick between an eco diesel and a hemi hope that helped um but yeah if you have any questions anything i can help you out with my number is 204-572-5835 shoot me a text give me a call i'm here for you guys just let me know thanks